Hello and welcome back to my YouTube. My name's Chelsea and if you're new around here, we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like, then please make sure you hit subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified of every time I upload. So today's video, we're gonna do a review on Cash Beauty products. So we've got a bit of everything here. We've got literally, you know, I've got the full Crystal Knights collection. So I've got the Crystal Eyeshadow Toppers, the Eyeshadow Palette, the lip like vault set and the multi-pack of eyelashes so yeah we've got the full crystal knights collection i'm just going to run through a bit of information about it show you some close-up videos and then we'll get into this eye look and lip look if that makes sense so yeah stay tuned so if you've never heard of cash beauty it's actually kaylee mua i think that's her name kaylee mua's own brand so if you don't know who kaylee is then she is a, like a big youtuber instagrammer tiktoker like all over social media and does like really good like freak weeks and things like that she's just crazy talented on all sorts of crazy insane makeup skill so when she was bringing out her own brand everyone's been loving them and doing such good reviews and things like that so so I'm super excited to have actually got my hands on some of this stuff. So it is an Irish brand. However, Kaylee has announced that you will not be charged any hidden custom fees now that England has left the EU. Britain has left the EU? You know what I mean. But when Kaylee first launched her brand, everything was in bundles, which put me off a little bit. But now you can buy things more individually and you do the, get the option of bundles as well. So I did pick up the Crystal Knights collection, which worked out well it was 109 euros so i think it was about 90 quid and then i also got a secret treasure eyeshadow palette which was 29 euros i paid for express shipping so it got delivered within like 48 hours and that was 16 euros i did have a discount code which was 20 euros off so yeah in total i did spend over 100 euros and i think that works out like 110 pounds but I feel like I've got so much stuff. So I've got two eyeshadow palettes, four lipsticks, a lip gloss, six pairs of lashes and two eyeshadow toppers, which don't actually think it's that bad for the price. So first of all, let's look at the Cash Beauty Crystal Knights eyeshadow palette. So what I love about her eyeshadow palettes is the fact you've got the sleeve, which has like really nice detail on, but then you also have quite a simple eyeshadow, small eyeshadow. So this really reminds me of, say like the mini vit, the mini virtual, the mini mix size and you also get quite a large mirror inside as well which is dead handy so with these shades she did say that she wanted to introduce a bit of color but then you still got your normal neutrals I think because her first collection that secret treasure is a very neutral palette so this is quite similar with the added pops of color do you know what I mean so in this eyeshadow palette you also get one two three four you get five shimmer shadows and four mattes and I feel like the mattes is even though you get more shimmers than matte you've got everything that you need for a smoky neutral everyday eyeshadow look i use pretty much every one of the matte shades today and then the lashes so you get six pairs of lashes that go from day to night so i've got after dark on today but just look how fluffy that they all look they look super long super wispy and yeah really pretty styles like i literally like the look of every single one of these styles then moving on to the crystal knights lip set so this would be my second time today that I've worn one of these lipsticks. So it shows you on the back of what lip colours you get. So you get four lipsticks and a lip gloss. So you've got like a nude, an orangey nude, a mauvey nude, and then like a muted red, which I used in my monochrome red look a few videos back, which I will link down below if you want to watch that. And then you also get the lip gloss, which is like the famous lip gloss because it has the, I think it's silicone applicator, which just means that instead of double dipping your lip gloss, after using it on top of lipstick and getting all manky lipstick in your lip gloss and rolling it you can just wipe it away and then it's like fresh lip gloss again so yeah and I just love the packaging of this as well it's like a proper vault like I want to keep this in the vault this is what it looks like open up and then each lipstick spells out cash and then you've got the lip gloss here so really really nice luxurious looking packaging and then last but not least you've got the two crystal nights eye toppers so one's in the shade gold dust and ones in the shade rose glow so this is what they look like really nice packaging again but let's swatch them 
And I really like the doe foot inside as well. It's a little bit like a lip gloss doe foot. It's got like a hole in the middle so you don't pick out too much product and waste it. So probably sort of same size as like the Stila and Beauty Bay ones. So if you can see there, we've got rose glow and then gold dust. This is what they look like. Gold dust is a little bit darker than rose glow. So yeah, so that is all the collection for the crystal nights that I've got. And then we shall get on with the makeup look. Okay, so let me just put on a bit of my Lano lips real quick. So I've actually got a new little setup. I'm actually using my Canon camera rather than my Sony one hooked up into my laptop. So if you see me down there, looking down there, it's because I can actually see what I'm filming now properly. And I've also got a microphone on that just hit my double chin because, you know, the audio on the Canon isn't that great because all you can hear is the lens focusing. So I've got this. So I'm hoping that this little setup is okay and hopefully we can do better quality videos because I've got a new laptop and I've now got a Final Cut Pro obviously just the trial for now so yeah let's hope and pray that new quality content is on its way there we go right so I'm just going to start off by priming my eyelids with the P. Louise base as always and I'm just going to use the P. Louise brush as well like the acid rain one flat brush So I've got all that blended out. We are going to go into the Crystal Nights palette. So and obviously we've got this like warm tone and then you've got these pops of colour here. So I think I'm actually going to do like a warm, warm in the crease and then with the pops of colour on the lid. So I'm going to try the blue one and then the purple one. Yeah, because I want to try those shimmers because obviously that's what this is all about. To start off, I'm just going to use a Peaches PC22 brush. It's got a bit of brown eyeshadow on but it's fine and then i'm gonna go in to dusk so this middle shade here I'm just gonna pack it on and then pat it out and then i'm just gonna put this around my crease i'm just stamping it in at the moment so i'm gonna go in with an m e O one. one i don't know if it's mc or m1 it's one of the made by mitchell brushes fluffy brush and i'm going to go into that lighter brown shade here haze and i'm just going to blend that over the top and out And then I'm just gonna go back in with that PC22 brush uh, with no extra product and I'm just going to blend it a bit more. I'm back in with the Mitchell brush with no extra product on and again, just blend it again. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean Spectrum B06 brush. So it's quite a large fluffy brush, no product on, and I'm just going to blend it even more. Really trying to practice my blending at the moment, you see? Want everything to be nice and seamless. I'm just using this brush to really blend it out. So just dragging the shadow out of it and up into my brow. And then I'm going to just dip into that moonlight, so that white shade here, with that spectrum brush. And I'm just going to use it to help blend out the edges, just to soften them a little bit. So then I'm just going to go in with my P. Louise base again and just pop a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just using my Spectrum B03 brush. This is what it looks like, one of those flat headed brushes like that. And I'm just going to, I'm not cutting the crease or anything like that, but I'm just going to pop a bit on my lid and just disperse it a bit. I think I put a bit too much on. I'm just using a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat it to blend it out. Like so. I'm just using my finger to pat the edges where it meets the brown so then it blends a little bit just softens it a little bit okay lovely so for the first one i think i might do I think i'm going to go in with the blue so this is a sapphire shade which looks like this such a beautiful shade it looks like it's got so it's blue with like purple reflex in it and then we've got amethyst as well which i'm going to do on the other eye i really like the look of this jade to be honest it looks more like an olivey or like a antique gold so this is what jade swatches like and they are so pigmented as well yeah so i do purple on one eye and then 
blue on the other. So I'm gonna try it with the brush first and see what it's like with the brush. And then if not, then I'll just use my finger. So I'm just gonna take a Morphe M152 brush. So this is just a really small like packing on brush. And I'm gonna dip it into sapphire, see if much comes out. Hopefully it doesn't do much fallout. And I'm just gonna press it on. Mm. I mean, it goes on okay, but I think I'd prefer to apply it with the fingers. So I'm just gonna, it's very crumbly. Oh no. So I'm really trying to pat it in because it is quite crumbly. Let me go in with my brush. Let me just wet my brush quickly. Oh, that is beautiful. But I have got quite a lot of fallout here. And considering that was a shimmer, that dusted away okay. So I'm just gonna, yeah, it's just so crumbly, look. So I literally just dipped my finger in a little bit and you can just see like flakes of it. See, I'm swirling around in amethyst and it feels different. It doesn't feel as crumbly. Oh, this one's better. This is a lot better. Yeah, that's so much better. Not crumb, not a crumble in sight. Oh my God, that's so nice. Whew, that is nice. I know I've got a little bit of fallout underneath. That's the way, okay. Oh my God, I really like that purple. I don't know if you can tell. So I do really like that purple. Just gonna take a Morphe M456 brush, which is like a flat packing on brush. And I'm gonna go in with Enchant. So the dark brown here, there. And, oh, that is pigmented. Let me just tap that out. And I'm just gonna tap it on the edge. I'm going back in with my small peaches PC22 brush just to blend out the edge. And then back in with my Mitchell brush, blend out the edge a bit more. Might as well just do a bit of under eye as well. So I'm just going to go in with, with my Morphe M152 brush again. And I'm just going to take whatever shade it was that I, you know, blew on this side, purple on this side, just underneath a little bit. Oh, that's, that's hard to do without it crumbling everywhere. I know what to do. Just going to pop a bit of P. Louise base on my under eye. To go back in with my Morphe M456 brush, the one that's got that enchanted dark shade. I'm just going to run that along here. And then just a fluffy brush and I'm going to use a bit of that haze. So the light shade. Smoky goodness. So I'm just going to wipe my brush and so do the purple side. Taking a bit of that amethyst on that small Morphe brush. The purple side has just gone on so much better. Oh my god, it's just been reposted by Beauty Bay again. Unreal. Now we've got those eyes done. I'm gonna pop on some mascara and then we're gonna put a pair of the lashes on. So I'm just gonna use my iconic London mascara. It's quite therapeutic to watch, but I know I'm not gonna have a fun time walking to work tomorrow. So for the blue side, I'm gonna go in with this Bonjour Pali um, Contour Clubland Waterproof Pencil. Yes siree, that looks cool. And for the purple side, I'm going in with this NYX Pretty Violet Pencil. Oh, what a perfect match. Love that. So what pair of lashes shall I get out? So these are the lashes we'd have seen from the intro. So many pretty styles, but I think I quite like the look of Twilight. They all look very long though, or after dark. Oh, I might actually go for after dark. So this bottom one here that goes like quite wispy on the end. I think I might do that. Yeah, so let's try it on. They feel so soft and like fluffy. So this is with those lashes on, so the after dark. I do like them, but I need to wear them in. You know, with new lashes, they're just so straight. And even though I was bending them the loads, I just feel like I need to bend them a bit more before applying and just really wear them in. But they feel really nice. And I like the shape of them because they sort of like elongate at the end um, and they look quite like feathery. I think, yeah, I think it's just the case of when wearing them in a bit more. So yeah, so we've got eyes all done nearly. So I am going to apply, I've got some of the crystal eyeshadow toppers, this is what it looks like, and I'm going to apply some in the inner corners. I'm going to go in for Rose Glow, which is this is what it looks like, excuse my cut on my finger. So it looks like a, what you get in like a lip gloss applicator, but I'm just going to, that's a really pretty shade. I'm just going to use a pencil brush just to tap it in a bit more. It's there, but I 
feel like I might need another coat or I might just apply it onto my brush and I might also apply it to my under my brow oh that looks nice there I don't know if you can see it on camera but it is there yeah oh my hard eye is popping as well so that is eyes done so now lips so we've got obviously the full crystal nights lip set which comes with four different lipsticks and a lip gloss the only thing is i haven't got any of her lip liners because she only just started selling them singles so we've got veil which is i think the one that i'm going to use today this is like your true nude which looks absolutely beautiful so yeah i think i'm gonna go with that one but we have also got Solal, Solal, I don't know how you say it, which is slightly orangey nude, which apparently is really nice in the summer. And then we've got Dawn, which is like a ready nude. Let's just pop out there. Thank you. Thanks. Guarantee you say that's the nicest sandwich you've ever had. What's in that? Okay. Can you shut the door there, yeah? Movie sort of nude. And then there's Blood Moon, which I have used before. I think I used it in a video before. Monochrome red look. And it is a beautiful, like, muted red. It does look super pretty, especially paired with a brown lip liner. And then you've obviously got the lip gloss. So this is, like, the Starlight lip gloss, which I am going to use as well. And they smell like a cake sort of formula. What is that? Buttercream. It's just a true nude and it looks beautiful. I think this is going to be my new favourite nude lip stick. It's quite a creamy formula, like a semi-matte finish. I just don't really like pinky nudes that much, but I think this is more of like a beigey nude, which is what I absolutely love. And then we're going to apply a bit of the lip gloss, which with the lip gloss, you actually get like a, um, like a plastic applicator. So then you can wipe it after you've used it so you don't get lipstick back in the component, which I think is a really good idea. Oh, this smells beautiful as well. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So you just wipe it off. I don't know if it's just because I've got lipstick on already, but it just looks quite a uh, clear gloss. It looks very wet and just juicy, which I absolutely love. And it feels, oh, my God, it feels like a lip oil. So this is the finish. Look, what do you think? So we've got one purple side and one blue side. So thoughts on this Crystal Nights collection via Cash Beauty. So first of all, the palettes. I did really like the matte formulas in this. The matte blended out beautifully. They're very, very pigmented. And yeah, the mattes literally outstanding the shimmers are pigmented but the blue one just seems really crumbly and i can still see like little flecks of blue that have just fallen down that i haven't been able to wipe away properly so i feel like if you are going to use this palette and you are going to use like the colored shimmers then do your eyes first and have a tacky base but even when applying the blue was like crumbling on my actual lid it wasn't like blended into my eye whereas the purple one was so yeah i don't know if they're different forms or what but I'm excited to play around with the other more neutral shimmers as well and then we've got the lashes so I've got the style after dark on they're just very straight so the lashes aren't really that flexible like the band isn't that flexible but I think it might just be because this is the first time that I've worn it and I need to wear them in which is what I say about a lot of lashes so I'm not too fussed about that because I feel like once I've worn them in a bit they'll be more flexible and they'll be really nice because they're quite soft and flexible fluffy but they feel like good quality lashes but yeah if you want to see a video on me trying all of these lashes on then do let me know and I will get that up for you and then we've got the crystal eyeshadow topper obviously I didn't really use a lot of this today I only use it in my inner corner and underneath my brow bone you can't really see it on camera but it is there I feel like the beauty bay ones are better but I'm gonna give these obviously another go and try it all over my lid I think I might do that with my video that I've got coming
coming up are the secret treasure palettes so keep an eye out of those because I've seen people use these and they do look beautiful and then Crystal Knight's lip set so I've already used Blood Moon and then today I used Veil I absolutely love the formula of these lipsticks they're so creamy and comfortable to wear really nice color selection as well especially paired with like a browner lip liner I do really want to get her rust lip liner that she wears quite often with all of these and I also love the gloss the feel of it just feels so comfortable it just feels like a lip oil and so yeah so that is everything so like I said I will have a video up soon of the secret treasure palette and obviously using the crystal knights lip top lip toppers eyeshadow toppers but yeah that is my review of the cash beauty crystal knights collection do i recommend it absolutely i'm excited to see what else she brings well done kaylee if you ever ever watch this which i hope that one day you do can't wait and i really hope she brings out highlighters because i just know that they're gonna be bomb but yeah so that is enough of me today i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it which i hope you did then please give it a big thumbs up and please leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on cash beauty and what you thought of this look hope to see you in the next video and stay safe bye